Civil War is a movie starring Kirsten. Is her name Kirsten? Uh, uh? You're my Tom Cruise. And you're my Kristen Dunst. Kristen? Kirsten? Kirsten Dunst. Webna Moura Kaylee. Ve actors with very difficult names, I'm telling you. And the premise is, in a dystopian future America, a team of military embedded journalists races against time to reach Washington, D.C. before rebel factions descend upon the White House. A very interesting concept and premise. But the execution is honestly a no for me. It's a no for me. This movie, to me, was very disappointing, and I want to explain why. First of all, there are huge exposition dumps in this film and I hate it. An exposition dump is where characters just sit and then just talk and then tell you stuff. And there's even this one scene where <laughs> there's this one young girl, she's a photographer, journalist, she's talking to Kirsten Dunst and she's like, tell me about yourself. And then Kirsten Dunst is like, well, uh, I thought you were my biggest fan, you would know everything about me. Why do you have characters sitting down to just talk? It makes the movie feel like such a boring slog of a film. Speaking of Kirsten Dunst, she comes off as this very bland, boring, non-interesting, jaded character who I get that she's been desensitized by all the horrific stuff that she has seen, but she's just, so, in my opinion, so boring. The entire movie just feels like it's this anti-war film. Like, that's how it feels. It feels like this anti-war film that's like, oh, oh, look, look, the atrocities of war. Look, look how bad the atrocities of war are. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just a dummy. Maybe I'm just a dummy reviewer on YouTube. But the entertainment value of this film is just not. It feels, like, it feels like, it feels like the film just exists to be, exists just to be like. Oh, look, look how bad war is. Look, can you, do you want to take your Nikon camera and just uh, film, snap, take a photo of how bad war is? That's the end of the entire movie feels. By the 20 minute mark, I did not give a fuck. <laughs> By the 20 minute mark, I did not give a fuck. And I always give movies like 20 to 30 minutes to make me care. I didn't care. This movie should have not been called Civil War. It should have been called War Photography Girl, the movie. Because that's what really it is. It's about. These photography journalists who go around snapping the war that's happening in the background. So what I hate about it is these photographer people do not have any personal stake in the war. They're just there to move around and take photos with the, you know, the delicious Nikon camera. It feels like you're just watching a movie that's just meant to be like, don't you now want to buy a Nikon camera now that you've experienced <laughs> this fascinating film? Um, there's this one scene where they go to this town and the town is sort of like unaware of the war they are keeping away from the war it's, it's in the trailer i'm not spoiling anything it's in the trailer and i feel and i feel like this film had like a checklist of things that it had to go through okay part one make sure you show this as you know as an element of what happens when there's war then part two show this part uh, part three show there's this part where there's a town that's not touched by war and how it looks part four oh, this scene is supposed to serve and show you that uh, sometimes in war there are casualties and you know bystanders of war who get hurt and they're not even uh, part of the war. You know, like collateral damage. If you understand what I'm trying to say, it's titled Civil War, but it's the most lacking war movie you have <laughs> you will ever sit down to watch. And I get it. Maybe they are trying. Maybe the filmmakers were trying to show you the the point is not the war. It's the war told from the perspective of the journalists. And it's and you might be asking me, well, shouldn't movies about you know war photographers taking photos? It should should it not exist? Shouldn't such a film not exist? Uh, it it can be told. That type of story can be told. But my issue is why title it civil war if it's not about the war? Why title it? If you watch the trailer, you feel like you're about to watch some Saving Private Ryan stuff, you know. But instead, you just end up road trip and taking photos. Basically, that's 90% of the film, road trip and taking photos. The characters have no personal stake in the film. In fact, the only part in the film that you, I actually like sat up was the scene that is in the trailer, the part about what kind of American are you. That's the only part where I actually sat up because that part, it felt personal. It, the, the characters had a personal stake in it. Even when the, when the war is, is, is happening, 
it feels pointless because the characters have no personal stake in it. The characters can just get up and leave. Whenever something in the movie happens and there's like a an, an element there's a scene that has war elements happening, people being shot, people being set on fire, people being, you know, bullets going through people. It doesn't matter because all the characters do is snap snap and then walk away. It's like if I made a superhero movie and then you you the viewer watches the movie from the perspective of a child watching two superheroes fight. That's the way the movie feels. You had Zod and Superman fighting, but instead of watching the movie from the perspective of Superman, you watch it from the perspective of a kid by the street watching as the two of them are fighting and then the parent grabs the kid and runs off. That's how the whole movie feels. This movie, you cannot convince me it was it was simply made simply because it's like I think A24, it was made by A24, I believe. A24 came to Nikon Camera and told them, boy, we have a great idea and we want you to sponsor it because <laughs> we'll be able to make a very long advert for Nikon Camera. And I really dislike the last 15 minutes of the film. The last 15 minutes of the film now turn into what you expected the film to be like. People shooting each other up, uh, war soldiers and stuff like that. But then as I was watching, I, f I asked myself, how can you spend like one hour, 20 minutes of the film making me think that the movie isn't about war? It's it, The movie isn't about war. It's about like the atrocities of war told from the perspective of a, of a photojournalist. And then the last 20 minutes become a war. <laughs> and I'm like... How can you make me not care about war, then put war right in front of me in the last 20 minutes as if it's some sort of cherry on top of the cake? You spent the whole movie trying to make me not focus on the war. Now you want me to focus on the war? The movie felt like it had no emotional payoff, in my opinion, because we've not been watching stuff about war. We've been watching photographers go around photographing war. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. This was these characters are like the most non-interesting characters for the movie to take their perspective from. They, they are the worst, in my opinion, because all they are doing is they are running around taking photos. They have no personal stake in the story. They have no. It's not like Kirsten Dunst and company have been told, oh, whoever takes the best photo gets a raise or something. Unless maybe I missed it. But there's no like prize if you take like the best photos. It's just we are doing our jobs and we are running around taking a taking photos of the war. And the movie at the end felt there was, uh, I felt like there was no emotional payoff. There's this one scene that had been set up uh, between this young girl and Kirsten Dunst character. It had been set up early on, but, and then it's paid off at the end. That was cool, I, I would deny, but in the end, I just I just wasn't feeling it. Spent the whole movie telling me that this isn't about a war war, it's about the atrocities of war from an outside an outsider looking in. And now I'm supposed to care about someone getting shot, something, something. I wasn't feeling it, honestly. Out of 10, I'd give this movie a 5. For me, I'd give it a 5. Basically because the packaging is very deceptive. The packaging is very deceptive. Also to me, my favorite character was the old man. The rest of these other characters, I just didn't care. Even that scene where that one soldier asks them what kind of... Uh, what kind of... American are you? I'm telling you, I was watching it and I was like, shoot these people. <laughs> I was like, shoot all of them. Shoot that guy. Shoot. I didn't care. I did not care. Even when the movie cuts to the end, I did care. I give it a five out of ten. Tell me what you thought of this film. Uh, maybe I'm just a dummy who doesn't understand what it was going for. I get what it was, what it was going for. It just doesn't have the entertainment value that I wanted. That's kind of cancer. Give me your thoughts and comments. Those are just my honest thoughts and comments. I'll see you next time.